Okay, let's see. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, my friends. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Excellent. Well, thank you. Good evening. Fine. Here on time. I truly appreciate it. Let me say hello to everybody who's here so I can see Cesar, Roberto, Carolina, Irma, Juan David, Carla, Milagro, Mili, excuse me, Nelson, Norma, Rene, and Ronald. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good. Great. Hi. Great. Excellent. Thank you. How was your day? Very boring. Oh, boring. Why? So you didn't go to work? No, nah, not today. Ah, that's why. So you like being working every day, I see, huh? Yeah, you're right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, very good, very good. So let's see here. Well, just give me one second, my friends, because my computer is loading your presentation. Um, just waiting here for this to load so I can share it. All right. I have a new tongue twister for you tonight because I know you like them, right? So let's see here. One quick second. Okay, okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. It's there. Okay, so let's start right now. And it's right there. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. So now it's just loading here. Let me know if you can see the screen, my friends. Please confirm. Yes, I can. All right. Very good, very good. There you go, there you go. One quick second. Oh, my goodness. The computer doesn't want to work tonight, huh? It's just like Neely, huh? So let's see. Okay. Bear with me one moment. I don't I don't know what happens. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, let me tell you, here in my neighborhood it's raining cats and dogs. Is it raining in your neighborhood, people? I'm still at work, at work but it's raining too. It's raining. Oh, I see. So this this weather is crazy. People said that, you know, it was not going to continue raining. One quick second. Let me close my window. All right. So fine. Let's see. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, guys, I do apologize for this inconvenience. Let me just continue here now. It's supposed to be there. So let's see, let's see. Okay, you can see it now, right? Yes. 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 All yes. right, awesome. So, well, let's start here with the first activity, my friends. As I told you before, it's a new tongue twister. All right, in the tongue twister, it's the one you can see now on the screen. It said, this is with the purpose of practicing the letter B sound, right? So a big black bug be the big black bird. A big black bird be the big black bug, right? Easy, 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 easy as A, B, C. All right, so very good, excellent. So my friends, let's practice. I will give you one minute right now to practice it. Remember, a big black bug be the big black bird. A big black bird be the big black bug. Come on, everybody. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Questions about pronunciation, my friend? You still have one minute.
Very good, very good, very good. So let's see, have more people. So we'll say good evening to everybody else who joined the class. Thank you, thank you. So remember, a big black bug with a big black bird, a big black bird with a big black bug, right? So like that one, like if you're rapping, right? Super good, super good, super good. Excellent. Oh, I can see here some possible volunteers. All right, let's see. Oh, Patricia is early for the tongue twister tonight. Very good. Hello. All right. What a surprise, Mr. Martinez. Oh, my God. All right. So good evening, my friend. Oh, he turned off the camera. I got excited too quickly. All right. So anyway, I was able to see you. So let's see. Let's see who else. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Very good. So one minute, it's over now. So let's see. Who's my first volunteer, my friends? Thank you, Jose. Uh, Jose Alejandro, go ahead. A big black bug beat a big black bear. A big black bear beat a big black bug. There you go. Excellent. So you were rapping. That was easy for you. All right. Nice. All right. Thank you. Norma, go ahead. Okay. A big black bag with a big black beard. A big black beard with a big black bag. Excellent. So you see like everybody rapping, right? A big black bar with a big bapper. So that's like I like it. I like it. All right. So thank you. That's the next one is Rene. Uh huh. Rene, Rene. A big black bob with a big black bear. A big black bear with a big black book. All right. Very good. Excellent. And you go on this one right there. Thank you, Rene. And let's continue with Roberto Josue. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a big black bug beat a big black bear. A big black bear beat a big black bug. All right, all right, all right. Very good, excellent. Thank you, my friend, that was actually nice. Uh, next one, next one. Mm -hmm. Let's see from the possible volunteers here. Alice. May I enter? Uh huh. Oh, Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Oh. And then one. Okay, very good. Okay, I will try. A big black bug, but a big black bird. A big black bird, but a big black bug. Wow, that was awesome, my friend. That deserves this. Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. Celebration sticker. All right. So, very good. Thank you. Now, let's go with uh, the next one. Oh, we said one, right? Okay, one. Okay, teacher. A uh, big black bug beat a big black bear. A big black bear beat a big black bull. Thank you very much. And that one, so very good, very good. Who's the next one? Uh huh. Patricia, Norma, Nelson, Mirna, Milagro. What happens? Margarita, oh, Margarita, acaba de escribir, so no problem. All right, so hoy, let's see. Irma. Patricia, Margarita, is the oh, Okay, okay. George, welcome. All right, uh, Carolina, Mr. Martinez. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. What is it? Oh, Patricia. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Thank I will you. try. Okay. A big black bat with a big black bear. A big black bear with a big black, black bat. <laughs> you know what, Patricia? For you, it's going to be the one from yesterday because you didn't actually enter early to the class. This is the one for you, Patricia. Okay. <laughs> This is really difficult. It's not. It's just the same. It's the same words like four times. This is a, a real tongue twister. It is. It is. All right. Yeah. That was waiting for you yesterday. You, you never appeared. So, but now you have it oh, here. That, that's, that's from yesterday. Oh. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Hello, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's okay. too much. It's too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. That's the one for yesterday. Absolutely. All right. So, but now this is the one for tonight. And the one for tonight, it was super nice, right? So for you. So you yeah, did it good. It was. All right. So what about the rest, everybody? Let's see. George, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try. A big black bug with a big black bear. 
a big black bear be a big black bug. All right, easy, right? For you, George, that was like as easy as ABC, right? So super easy. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, we are going to just stop right here with this activity. It's easy, right? So it's just like to start like warming up here and let's just go for this one, the review, the review, the review, all right, about yesterday. Remember yesterday we were talking about collocations, right? And we were talking about how to use make, do, get, or take. Remember, we talk about an action. So here we have eight activities and I want you to help me like selecting what will be the correct verb here to have the follow the collocations, right? So what will be the number one? Shower, that's take, easy, take, come on. Take a shower. Yay, take a shower. So it's gonna be take, all right? Take a shower, very good. What about number two, people? Take, so make, make a picture of someone. It's a make or take? Take, I think. Take. take a picture. All right, take a picture of someone. Friends? Get. Get some make. friends? friends. Get. Get or make. Uh-huh, I will go with I will go with make. All right, make some friends, make friends. All right, the dishes. Do the dishes. Do the dishes. Excellent. Very good. Do the dishes, right? Someone a favor. Do. Yeah, do. Very good. All right. Divorce. Oh my god. Get. 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 Get divorced, all right? So my goodness, a lot of experts on the topic here, huh? Get, get divorced. All right. Homework. Do, you, do, do you, do your homework. Do your homework, very good. By the way, have you completed your homework on the platform? Yeah. Great, excellent. So what about money? Make, make, money. make money. Make money, all right, excellent. Make, make, make money. All right, excellent. So what if I add here, for example, another one, all right, which is going to be here like this one. So number nine, wait one second. If I want to add two more here and I can have this one, like number nine, bed. Mm -hmm. What will be this one, my friends? Make. Make what? Make. Uh -huh. Make my bed, which is actually, a, you know, the correct way to say like, hacer la cama, ordenar la cama. Very good, excellent. So you go on this one. And what about this one right here? Those are additionals that I'm just adding right now to check this one. All right. Yeah. Like that one, all right. So what's the next one? Get higher. Get higher. Get higher. And what is higher, my friends? Contratado. 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 All right. Contratado. Contratado. Oh, so very good. Uy, I said deep. All right. So what the, what? People, what happens? This one. I got from this one. Get higher. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. Excellent. So questions about this activity, vocabulary or anything like that? No questions? Oh. All right, excellent. So one second, let me open my window again. It stops raining out of a sudden, right? So I don't know, this, this weather is crazy. So let's see, let me clean everything right here so we can move to the next activity for tonight. Okay, very good. This is actually on your uh, book, right? So I just took this from your book and this is actually the grammar topic that we are going to be uh, working on tonight right the indirect request all right so we were talking about requests those days but now we're going to be talking about the indirect request if someone can help me by taking the screenshot and sending it to the group i'll truly appreciate it right so let's see let's imagine this this is the situation right here all right so jeff tony is having a party all right so the indirect request like this one it's a statement, all right? So imperative, Jeff, don't be late, all right? Eso es como casi una orden, all right? So um, remember, statement, it's, you know, basically a sentence, a regular sentence. Imperative, it's just like a, almost an order, right? So for example, if I said, uh, Billy, please stand up, or 
Eh, Roberto, please pay attention. All right, so son como like um, directions, right? Or like instructions you're giving to someone. And we have also the yes or no questions, right? Sofia, are you free on Friday? Sofia, do you have my number? Like, uh, for example, here. Uh, okay, Lucia, no problem. If I said like, Juan, did you do your homework? And Juan will say no. All right, so you see Juan is not even paying attention, people. Anyway, let's see. All right, Rene, have you completed the test? Yes or no? All right, that's actually what the yes or no question is. You can say, yes, I have. No, I haven't, all right? Or the Soviet questions, when does the party start? Or what time should you pick, uh, should I pick you up, all right? And so says, estos, my friends right here, like de este lado, son as basically like the, the, the questions that we're going to be normally saying, right? Or asking, depending on, on the type of question I'm trying to give. So then, how does the indirect question or the indirect request uh, work? Well, we have it right here. We have different uh, uses of this one. So the indirect request introduced by that, all right? So like this one, who you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? So basically an indirect question, it's when I'm going to ask someone to ask another question to someone else. Okay, so for example, if I want to say this one, eh, veamos, Milagro, podrías preguntarle a Juan si hizo la tarea? For example, right? So, <laughs> come on, Juan. And that's actually what happens right there. And uh, we'll be like, eh, Mila, eh, could you please tell Juan if he finished the homework, for example, right? Or if he did the homework. So I'm asking this one right here. Well, this one is statement right here, all right? So um, just to say something right here. Okay, like for example, right now, if you watch TV, the president is on TV, all right? So, and then you can say like, hey, um, let's see, Jose, the president está en la televisión. That's the statement. Esa sería como la oración base, right? The base sentence. And then you can go and say like, for example, eh, Jose, Podrías decirle a René que presidente está en la televisión. All right, so how do you say that one, right? So could you tell Jose that the president is on TV? So that would be like the example we have right here en esta primera, right? Could you tell, could you tell Jose that the president is on TV? There you go, excellent. So we go on this one. Could you tell Jose that the president is on TV? All right, so we're gonna check this one right there, all right? And uh, that's basically what it happens right here. So, uh, questions about this? Questions about this one, la primera, no questions? All right, awesome. So let's go with the next one right here. Then we have the indirect questions like requests using infinitives, right? For example, les hablaba de estas que eran como las órdenes, I say, like the orders, right? You give to somebody else, like, please stand up, please take a seat, please tell me the, what's your name, please go out, please come in, etc. right? And then you go on this one, can you tell like this one, how do you say, for example, all right, uh, this one right here says, can you tell Jeff not to be late, right? Por favor, decirle a Jeff que no venga tarde, all right? Or how do you say, for example, right here, let's say, um, Roberto, por favor, dígale a Patricia que se conecte temprano. All right, so just to say something there. All right, so, and then you could say like, oh, who, can you tell Patricia not to be late? All right, so for example, all right? It, it's not like any kind of like, you know, hiding message, all right? So it's just an example. Don't take it personal, please. All right. <laughs> Uh, and let's just go on this one. Or uh, if you want just like to have the yes or no questions, right? It says yes or no questions. It's because like the answer is either yes or no, all right? So if I want to ask, for example, let's see. Uh, Ronald, did you have dinner? Yeah. Yeah, so the answer okay. is yes, all right? So 
George, have you drank soda lately? No, I haven't. Okay, so that's the answer is no, all right? So like that one. And if I want to ask, for example, I want to ask Sandra si George ha tomado soda, if George has drunk soda, I'll say like, hey, can you ask George if he has drunk soda? All right, so I would just say this one, right? Or if, if you want to use cool, which is more polite, right? So can you say like, could you ask a Patricia if the coffee is delicious, for example? All right, so uh, you can say, you can ask those questions in that way. And then we have like the WH questions. Remember, WH questions are questions that includes what, when, where, why, etc. right? And then uh, like, for example, let's see here. Like, how do you say, for example, um, podrías preguntarle a María cuando termina la clase, for example. How do you say that? Could you tell to Maria when mm -hmm. is the class finished? Finished. If you, if you Can said, you ask? if you, you said tell, you uh -huh. could you... exactly. That has to be ask because you say like preguntar, all right? Because if they were uh, saying, could you, could you, could you ask? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you said Maria, what time does the class finish? For example. All right. Okay. So that's basically the indirect request or the questions that we can actually practice right here. Now, do you have any questions regarding this topic? Mm -hmm. No questions? No questions. You sure you don't have questions for me, huh? Okay, cool. If you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. You know that, right? So yeah. let's see here. Let me clean the screen and then we go to the next slide. Okay, excellent. So now, um, let's do this one right here. We have this activity right there. This is also from the book. All right, take a look. It says here, I need a volunteer right now who can help me to read just the instruction. The instruction, who's my volunteer for that one? Let me see. Me, teacher. Please go ahead, thank you. Rewrite this sentence. These sentences has in has indirect request. Okay. In other words, ask someone to deliver the message from you. Then compare with a partner. All right, excellent. Thank you very much in this one, my friends. All right, so in, uh, let's just go ahead and check the example. The example, it says right here, the number one. Nina, can you... Uh, do us a favor and drive us to the party. And then we have the example right here. Could you ask Nina if she can do us a favor and drive us to the party? All right, so this is exactly the kind of exercise you guys are gonna be working with, like rewriting the sentences, right? Because like the first one is when I, it's a, question, a direct question. So I'm talking to Nina directly, right? Say so like, Nina, can you please take us to the party, All right? But in the example that you have to rewrite, it's like if you're talking to somebody else to ask Nina, right? So that's the question about, right? Is it clear, people? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. So if that's the case, everybody, I'm going to send you right now to the breakout rooms so you can have the time to discuss and write these answers uh, with a friend, all right? So let's see here. All right, so please remember that uh, if someone cannot uh, participate because you're driving or because you're doing anything else, just let me know so I can move you to a different room right now. So let me see. Oh, let's see, let's see. Very good, excellent. So I guess... Let's check this one. All right, everybody, please accept the request so you can um, check this one. Did you take the screenshot, my friends? To the group or not yet? Okay. Not yet, okay, I will send it, no worries. Please join the room, my friends.
very good. So, well, Hello, hello, hello. Questions? Hello, teacher. Questions, questions? Um, the camera is in the same. I don't yeah. stay in class. Carlita, are you participating? Oh, are you a long one? Yes, teacher. I don't know. Uh, all right. Understand. No worries. Okay. If you have um, questions, I'm going to be here for a moment, okay? Okay. In the second, the second uh, sentence is, is, is very hard. Uh, Number... Is, is, which one number, number two? Two. Uh -huh. two. Tommy uh -huh. is is is. How um, say engañosa in English? Yeah. Maybe no engañosa, but like difficult. Right? It would be like hard. No, sorry, oh. tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, tricky. Uh, the the petition is 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 for a. Many friends, uh, oh, many friends, uh, Tony. Right, so that would be just for example, uh, Juan, if you said like, uh, Juan, podrías preguntarle a Tony cuántos amigos puedo llevar a la fiesta? Okay. Yes. So yes. how would you say that in English? Yes. Could you ask uh, Tony how do many friends uh, I can uh, bridge to uh, bridge a party? To the party, uh huh. That's it. That's the what. Party. That's to the party, my friend. Mm -hmm. Last sentences I I I now is is AC. I have no problem. Okay. Uh teacher, uh yeah. Oh we in, in the number seven. Mm -hmm. Oh we uh, is um 
What is different in doti? Doti only? Num number seven. Seven. Own. Own it's like como te debo. O sea, no es deber, o sea, de, 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 de mi deber patriótico, mi deber no, no, cívico. No. Deber de que tú me debes algo. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. So like that. Okay. Do you need more help? I'm going to go to a different room right now. Oh, no problem, teacher. Is 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 I understand the the, the, the topic. Yes. Okay. Cool. No problem. And, well, I guess now the this lady is gone, so Carla is not here anymore, right? No. Uh, would you like me to to move you to a different room so you can practice with a different person? Uh. Oh. It's, it's, it's okay, teacher. No, no problem. It's, it's no problem. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, no problem. All right. Okay. So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right. Okay, teacher. Well, I guess I'm going to move somebody here that is also alone. Generalmente siempre a veces pasa esto con los compañeros que a veces están y no están, pero bueno. Well, but thank you so much for your responsibility, right? So we'll just send somebody else here right now. In my case, in my case, I I I didn't sleep the, the last night. Uh, my work is 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 very hard. I I have a pending in the news and uh, on the world. Okay, very, very, oh, you know, Nelson yeah. has joined the group. Hello, Nelson. Yes. Hello, hello, Nelson. Oh, my goodness. Well, still the same. She's still alone. Yeah. All right. So I've got a different breakout room. If you have questions, just let me know. All right. Yeah. Alicia. A veces, a veces el problema que tengo es la cuestión de cómo, cómo yo lo digo en español, pero en inglés se dice de otra manera, ¿no? Right. It's the organization of the vocabulary, of course. It's a break the... the... Um, the rulers in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. All right. So, but don't worry. Again, if you have questions, let me know. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. More, more frequent, oh, frequently present than gift. I, I have heard uh, frequently present more than, than gift. I don't know why. Give a present. I have a present for your parties, but here is the they are using gift. Okay, teacher is with us. Yes, I am. I, think so. <laughs> I know that. Teacher, we have um two questions. Question. Uh -huh, two two questions actually. Okay. Go about, ahead. about about number five because. Uh, for us, that's uh, um, don't sound good. Doesn't sound good, sound good. Uh -huh. Like Mar, uh, could you tell Mario? Oh uh, no, could you, could you ask Mario if he's going to give Tony a gift? Can I say if he's if he's going uh, to give a gift to Tony? Uh, let's see here, Mario. Are you going to give Tony a gift? All right, uh -huh. we're going to give a gift to Tony. Could you could yeah. you ask Mary? Uh -huh. Is that right? Could both, you ask Mary? If you know, he... Both are going to be okay, actually. All right, so huh? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, both structures are going to be okay. So like the one you can see on the exercise, which is like, are you going to give Tony a gift? All right. So are you going to give a gift to Tony? They, they both are going to be okay. But for, for us, sounds better if you say a gift to Tony. That is, that is actually something that I would agree with you, all right? So because uh -huh. um, it might be confusing for people who is mm -hmm. like, you know, learning English like you, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, when you said like, are you going to give Tony? Como que le vas a dar Tony a un regalo, right? So, but it's also an instructor that is just in English, right? So, but of course, the structure, are you going to give a gift to Tony? It's actually correct as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Sounds number better six. for us in Spanish because it makes sense, all right? For mm -hmm. us. Yeah, yes, yes. And number six, oh, yeah. because uh, the sentence said, please return uh, my phone call. Mm -hmm. But it, if you uh, um, uh, send in an indirect request for somebody, you can say, please return my, uh, please return my phone call. So you have to omit, you have to omit, please. Not not necessarily, right? So as I was uh, saying how, before, how, when how it isn't, you, uh -huh. how could you how could you say that uh, in an indirect request? Uh, all right, I would say like, uh, can you please? But yeah. but but please is friend Marie, you not know, for the people who is going to to do your do a favor. It's going to do a favor for you. I can actually use please with them as well, so that wouldn't be any you know, inconvenience on that one. Remember that the word please is just because I want to be more polite. All mm -hmm. right. So, so I can say that, okay, the sentence number six says, and Mary, please return my phone call. Right. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I'm saying please to and Mary. Right. But then uh -huh. I want to say, for example, can you please tell and Mary to return my phone call? Uh -huh. So, so you have to meet, please. No, I said it. Can you please tell? Ah, but, but you're going, uh, you're saying, please, to the people who is who is make a, doing your, a favor for you. Correct. Okay. Or it not to Mary, not to Anne Mary. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can Remember be. Remember that the 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 word please in in both contexts, like in the question on the sentence number six, and when uh -huh. you make it an indirect question or mm -hmm. an indirect request, it is always to the person who is doing or who's receiving the request. The request, uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, okay. in the example here is Aunt Mary. In the indirect request, it's going to be the person who's going to be doing the favor for you. Uh huh. So, uh, can you use please at the end of the of the sentence? Yeah, I was wondering that. You can also <laughs> yeah, yeah. say that. You can also say that. That will be like, could you tell uh, could you tell Aunt Mary to return my phone call, please? Right. Uh -huh. So that is also correct. Correct. Okay. That's it. <laughs> all right, no problem. Any that's other question? It. I think that's all, teacher. Oh, you finished already? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Well, what about fears then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, no problem. So we're going to close the rooms right now so everybody can go there. All right. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, see you. See you in class. See you in class. welcome back welcome back everybody let's just go ahead and verify this one again so we can share this all right and i would like to listen to your answers all right so who is going to be my first volunteer we are going to start with number two because number one is already there in the presentation right so what's number two tell me mm -hmm. would you ask uh, tony uh, if uh how many friends uh, can I be your party? To your party, all right, to the party. So like that one. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so. Okay, yeah, that's it, that's it, that, that's correct. All right, so could you, could you ask so, Tony, how many friends can I bring to? Well, I will make just one change right there. You said your party, but I will say the party or Tony's party because it's Tony's party, right? Okay. All right, so it would be Tony's party or the party. That's it. Very good. Number three, number three, number three. Volunteer for number three. Sandra Elizabeth, yes, sir. Oh, Sandra Elizabeth. Okay, thank you, Sandra. All right, all right, all right. Um, can you ask if she going to the party with Jeff? If she is going, all right. Repeat it, my friend. Uh, can you ask if she going to the party with Jeff? All right, excellent. So like that one. Thank you. There you go, excellent. Thank you very much, my friends, right there. And let's just continue with the next one, number four. Number four, number four. Jose is a teacher. Thank you, thank you, Jose. <laughs> All right. Oh, Roberto. All right, go ahead. Number four, I went. Oh, I'm sorry, Roberto. You okay. go with number oh. five. I have Jose okay. there with number four. Sure, sorry. No Jose, go ahead. Uh, number four. Correct. Uh, Robert, can you ask Mario if he is going to give a Tony gift? A gift? Mm -hmm. And number four. That's number four. Num no, that's no, number, number five. Number five. Ah, number, ah. Five. number four. But thank you for helping, it's Robert. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Number four. Okay, number four. Yeah. Um, Jose, could you ask Kevin whether he accept the invitation to Tony's party? All right. Yes or no? All right. So, Jose, can you ask uh, Kevin if he accepted? Because he's in uh -huh. past, right? Accepted. Mm -hmm. Accepted. The invitation to Tony Spice. Very good. Excellent. And thank you, Jose, for number five. So then, now I need a volunteer for number six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were two ladies I was working with. Patricia, I just don't Lisa. remember. Mary. Mary, what's the name? Mary. All right. Hi. So, <laughs> where's Mary? Um, I'm here. <laughs> All right, Mary. Go ahead, my friend, with number six. Okay. Could you ask? No. Could you tell Anne Marie to return my phone call, please? All right. Excellent. Thank you. That's actually correct. All right. Then you go with number seven. Number seven, who's going to be that one? Thank you, Carolina. Hey, Renee, please help me with the last one. All right. <clears throat> okay. Number seven. Hey, can, you, can you tell Dan? That he owes me an apology for calling me after midnight. Oh, my God. Yes, that's correct. All right. That situation mm -hmm. is terrible. All right. So let's see. Uh, Rene, go with the last one, please, my friend. Is, uh, could you tell Kimberly that I have to turn down her invitation to the movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you, my friends. Everybody, you were doing a very good job. So it seems to be that you understood the topic in a correct way. So thank you, everybody, for helping me with these examples right here. Okay, so now, questions before we move to the next slide? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, great, excellent. So let's just continue with the next one right here. All right, so let's see. Oh, my God, look at the instructions. All right, look at the instructions we will have right here, all right? Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. It says this one right here. Well, do me a favor. I need a volunteer who can help me to read this simple instruction here, my friends. Who is going to help me with that? It's the turn. Okay, thank you very much. Go ahead. 
write five unusual requests for your partner to pass on to classmates. Okay, excellent. So pay attention, everybody, because here it can be anybody here randomly and you have to answer yes or no. How are we going to work with this activity right now? So it's basically, we will need three people, you know, to participate at the same time here. So for example, it says right here, any crazy, um, you know, it says initial request, okay? So let's see, mm -hmm. for example, for example, hey, George, could you please ask Patricia mm -hmm. if she could lend me $50? And then George has to go and says like, sure, no problem. Let me ask, all right? Uh, Patricia, JJ says, if you could lend him um, $50. And then Patricia will say, of course, tell JJ that I have $50 for him. Does he want more or only 50? All right, so like that. Mm -hmm. Understand? <laughs> understand? Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 excellent. Yes. So let's just actually go and see if you guys understood this one correctly, all right? So let's see. Um, Marin, um, could you yeah. please could you please ask Rene if he did the homework? Okay. Hey, Rene. Um, then, did you do Mary? Then you had to use a simple question. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was was processing that. Uh -huh. Um. Did you do, did you did the homework? Did you do? Did you do the homework, yeah. Uh -huh. and I'm sorry that, that, I, that I have in the homework, on, only have the middle on the homework. All right, okay, excellent. And then Marin, report it back to me. Hi, JJ, Rene dice que, and then continue, mm -hmm. all right? Hi. Hi, JJ. Rene says that he didn't do the homework. Oh, my goodness. Tell Rene he got zero. All right. So, good. <laughs> awesome. Very good. You got it, my friends? Okay. Mary, now you were helping me. Now I want you to please start with this activity so you can ask whoever you want. Okay. Any questions? Any, Any questions? unusual questions? Unusual questions? Uh, sure. Asking for money or whatever, right? Hmm. Okay. Let me think. Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, any unusual? <laughs> unusual. Any? Hey, but, uh -huh. Okay. Hey, Patricia, can you give me? No. You're going to ask Patricia to do something for you with somebody else. Remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, I have to ask indirectly or a normal question? I get confused. You are going to ask right now the direct question to Patricia uh, about somebody else. Okay. And Patricia has to ask the direct question to that person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try hey, it. Patricia. Uh, would you ask George if he could give me a ride to my home? Okay. Josh, could you give uh Marin a ride to to your what? To her Home? house. To, My to house. her house. To her house. Sure. Of course. I I could give her a ride. Of course, I could give her a ride. Okay. Okay. Danny, uh George told me that he's uh, he can give you a right to your home okay, all right okay. excellent thank you thank you thank you thank you all right good job the three of you excellent so teacher can, can, teacher can, can she say that he is uh, able of course remember oh. that to be able it's the same as can right so yes of course okay, uh, okay. you can say he can give you a right or you can say he is able to give you a right same thing mm -hmm. okay all right, so then who wants to be my next volunteer now? If not, Mary is going to choose the person. Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. Jose, who are you going to ask? Go ahead, continue. Uh, please, Patricia, could you tell Juan David to not be so annoying, please? Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. My connection is, is bad, teacher. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Please, 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 Jose, you re repeat, repeat the, the, the question. I don't, I don't, I don't hear. It's, I don't. You don't. I have, I, really, really. I have trouble with, with my internet. I'm, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you the Jose request. Okay, Juan David. Uh, uh, could you not to be so annoyed? That, that's that's the request, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's a joke. That's a joke. Yes, I know it's a joke. Oh, goodness, what type of joke is that? All right. Excuse me, excuse me. I is is you really? I don't I don't hear the 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 question. Please <laughs> repeat. Well, Patricia, you can you can inform that to Jose. So. Okay. <laughs> um, Jose, um, Juan David told me that he can hear very well my request. I'm going to call him okay. <laughs> to his phone <laughs> and say. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so thank you. Now, who yeah. wants to help me here with the last request? Uh huh. That was good. That was very creative. All right, so who can? Um, I remember someone told me at the beginning of the class, teacher. I'm so bored. Who's that person? Let me see. Uh, where is it? Where Juan is it? David, teacher. No, it was not Juan David. It's someone <laughs> that, let's see here. Who's saying no right now? Yes. In this moment, in this moment in my in my, my house, it is raining, raining. Excuse uh, me, excuse me. All right, excellent. I found you, Milagro. All right, so, so let's see. Yes. No, that's right, all right. Okay. Um. Hi, Merin. Could you tell? Um. Jose Alejandro, if he can lend me his car, please. I need to go. <laughs> I need to go to a, a interview job. Job interview. Interview. Job interview. Yeah. Who? Jose Alejandro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jose. Milagro yeah. was wondering if you could um give a ride no. to her. Okay, land, land. He land. said land. Uh -huh. Land, right. Sorry. She, she car. said land. Uh -huh. She needs uh -huh. this car. Send your car to her because she has a job interview. Okay, could you tell her that, that I have another car and I uh, and another oh, car right. is able to to use <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my BMW is is <laughs> it's able <laughs> able to her my, my my BMW P. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, guys, you are so creative. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, great. Excellent. 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 Excellent, my friends. So you are doing a very good job right there. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see here. Now, take a look at this one. Surprise. To finish the class with oh. this one. Oh, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. What? If it's almost finished. No, we started late. Well, you were here late. We had only three minutes. Well, you three in minutes. Fact, in fact, you have five. All right. So, okay. Okay. so you you need that one. All right. So and I already I'm already waiting for you here. So yeah. Everything here is uh, you see a lot of people join immediately here. Uh, thank you. All right. This is to see if you really understood the topic, if you were paying attention here. Woo, 600 points for Millie, Ronald, Roberto, Norma, Cesar, Rene, and Patty. All right, Marine also. Marine, is it Ma Marine or Marine? Well, she prefers Danny. Marine, but yeah, I prefer Danny. 
Danny, Danny. Okay, okay, I'll go for Danny. No problem. I remember now. Danny, like Neely and Danny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what about you, Patricia? Are you Patty there? Yes. Yes, I prefer Patty. So I can hear like Patty, Danny, and Neely. I'll write it down that, okay? Okay. 11 people. Okay. Okay, very good. One more so we can start. Come on, where is it? I have like a thousand people here online. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, just because of the time, we're going to start right here so everybody can participate later. You can join after I have started the test, so no problem. Okay, 12. Perfect. There you go. Excellent, excellent. Oh, some people made the first mistake. What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> excellent. That was Roberto and George. Good job. You answered the first question correctly. Also, Danny, all right, so very good. Very good, very good. Number two is the same answer. Uh -huh. Oh my god, what happened? Oh David says that he has problems with the, the website. <laughs> Okay, okay. Remember, the test is going to finish when the first person finishes the test there. Oh. 
Very good, excellent. Okay, ready, mom. This is incredible. What happened? Let's see who's going to be like the top three here. Patty, Carolina, and George. Excellent. Great job, guys. You were doing a very, very, very great job there. So, very much. Good, good, good. I good. missed the means. <laughs> yeah, not today. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Los scores. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. All right, so good. Just kidding, my friend. So, we're going to stop right here. So everybody, thank you very much for your participation. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you for participating in all the activities. Remember, we have classes on Friday, right? So, and of course, tomorrow, That's right? So <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Okay, take care. Okay. Have a nice night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, mister. Yes? Um, have you worked on the radio? Radio? Mm -hmm. No. Why? Okay. You don't, you don't like if you work there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, you know, it will be interesting. I like talking a lot, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.